Hi guys, you know, I think it's fascinating the way we have ingredients in our refrigerator and our cupboards and they meld together with other ingredients so much so in such an amazingly delicious way and most of us will never realize these ingredients how well they marry together in our lifetime it is so crazy for example i have for you today a few ingredients that are in everybody's refrigerator and cupboard and if not they should be you know a healthy antioxidant sweetener maple syrup a organic non-gmo preferably sodium low sodium tamari hot peppers walnuts and do you know what's in here i keep my nutritional yeast in here Nutritional yeast should be kept in an airtight, dark container so that it doesn't go bad. Not left in the sun on the counter, and if so, I keep it in a dark container like this. But, so all these ingredients, it's so crazy when you just mix them together. What I found I, is this gravy I've been raving about for months now. So, today's video, I'm gonna share with you my gravy recipe. I just made it the other night. <sighs> I haven't made it in a while. Not that it's not hard, you know, I just don't wanna get used to it. You know, I wanna, I, I want to enjoy it for a long time to come. So, I, <laughs> I don't know, I just like to do it once every, I don't know, couple weeks. So, let me show you how I make it. So. We have our ingredients here. I'm gonna start with my walnuts and I'm gonna put about a cup and a half of walnuts. Now, as usual, the uh, recipe will be in the description below, but I never use uh, uh, measurements, so I eye it. So I don't have them for you right now, sorry about that. So, okay, so we have that much nut. Okay, you're going to think, oh my God, is this a gravy, savory, or is this some sort of cream dessert? But it's savory, okay. So maple syrup goes in it. I put about two tablespoons of maple syrup in there. You really want to taste it. That makes the gravy. And I am so not into sweet in my savory foods, but this works, it works really well. Tamari. And then the thing that binds it all together is the nutritional yeast. And we're gonna do, just like kind of the maple syrup, it's a lot of nutritional yeast. So that's about half a cup there. And then a little hot pepper. I think we know how hot habanero is. Okay, remember Kara, do not touch your eye. So I'm gonna put about that much in there. And uh, water, and that's it. So I'm gonna start out with um, about a half a cup of water just to get the nuts going. And then I'm gonna add a little bit more after they've turned to get my desired consistency of kind of like a gravy. Okay, so here we go. I put a little bit too much liquid in there. That's okay, it does firm up in the fridge. Mm. Wow. I don't taste any hot habanero. I think it needs a little bit more, but you're supposed to taste a kick. Anyways, it is delicious. So, what are we gonna put this on? Well, I know. How about creamy mashed potatoes in the cookbook on page 32? And these mashed potatoes are the next recipe we are gonna make, so why don't you 
come with me into the second segment and let's do mashed potatoes. No potatoes, no milk, no fire, no cooking. Mashed potatoes. <laughs> okay, so we've been making these mashed potatoes since 1995 for people. And I am telling you, most people love the taste, even though we all know raw cauliflower is like, I love vegetables, but ugh, raw cauliflower, no. But it works in this recipe, thanks to the cashews. The recipe for the mashed potatoes is in our cookbook on page 32. It's really quite simple. A cup of cauliflower cut up into florets into the blender. And then a cup of cashews plus two tablespoons. Pretty exact. Okay. Now, I love garlic so much and I'm like a oh, half a clove. But you know what? That, that the cauliflower, when it combines with garlic, it just intensifies the garlic smell, turns it into more of an odor than, than a lovely, mm, lovely scent that I like to refer to it as. And um, it just makes it really strong. So just a half of clove. Oh my goodness, I forgot the zucchini. We all know these are full of water, zucchinis, and a lot of vegetables, And um, but we started using vegetables to um, replace water, and it works, and it's wonderful for you. Purest water in the world, right? So we have a cup of zucchini. Okay, and that's it. Now we're gonna blend it. Oh God, it smells so good. I wish you could be here. I love it. it. You know, I'm a salt freak and it doesn't even, it has no salt in it, but it's so lovely. And it's oil free for those of you who are trying to avoid oils. Mm -hmm. Where is that gravy? There you are. <laughs> okay, so here's the gravy. You scoot over. So I just slop it on over it. Right. Then I'm gonna put some lovely chunks on it. And, oh, yum. Gosh, I don't know what I would do without Mother Nature didn't exist. Okay, well, I don't wanna get any fan too fancy because I'll be here all day. Doesn't that look really beautiful? It looks like, oh my God, I want to eat it. It's intriguing. You're like, what is it? If I didn't tell you what it was. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go, YouTube. Here we go. Mm. Oh my gosh. I swear I'm not acting. Well, all I can say is I can't wait till technology invents something where I can go, okay, you guys, here you all are, and y'all taste it right there in YouTube land. Would that be amazing? Well, this is really good. You know, if you guys are going to do this, I mean, for me, when I needed a meal the other day, not a meal, just some food, but I didn't want to eat a whole meal but I didn't want to eat a salad. I'm kind of bored of eating salads every single day while I was hungry. I wanted something a little different. And this was the perfect thing to make. Mm. You can put it on anything. I put it on when I cut my kale in the salad bowl. I start coating it with this stuff. You can put it on anything. It's good on whatever you can think of. And please, if you guys uh, make it, and I get addicted to it on a certain foodie type, let me know. I love that. Okay, guys, well, I really hope you make that video, uh, that recipe, and if you do, I really hope you enjoy it as much as I've been, you know, pushing it. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Kara signing out. I'll see you next time. Bye.